Hello, very good morning. So today I'm going to talk about the indices, you know, the major indices and uh, some of the major component in the indices. So major indices that I'm going to talk about is the SDI index, the Hansen index and US index. And that will follow with a summary you know, of uh, my thinking of trade that is uh, in the very short term. So over here in the short term itself, uh, what it meant is uh, predominantly intraday or more than four weeks periods. So on the major component, what it meant over here is more of the uh, bigger weightage in the indices. For instance, like STI index, the major weightage will be DBS, the OCBC, right, which uh, take out the high weightage in the uh, influencing the SDI's uh, movement. Hang Seng probably will be the Alibaba and of course the uh, AIA. US, if you are looking at NASDAQ, it will be in the Apple stock, the Microsoft stock, etc. So, all right, now is 23rd April 2023. First video, and let's go into the discussion. So, let's look into the STI indices. If you look into the STI indices by day, the trend, the uptrend actually started in somewhere in November. You can see there is a cross. The cross itself was the red line crossing above the green line, right? And there is a consolidation at this period. Consolidation at this period. Uh, and then a cross out and move out to about uh, 3,000, yeah, to 3,004. And after that, they have a, a bit down. You can see a cross line here as well. Cross line here as well. And then the day indices cross the uh, moving average, the 90, right? And then you have a cross out that's much more clearer over here. And now it's on the top side. So looking at this, um, if you are doing the uh, so-called uh, buying of STI, one areas that you can think of is Potentially, the STI is probably on the high side, right? And that influencing of the indices stock like DBS, OCBC, it will be Singtel, Capital Land, all this property, they will be also in the high side of our movement, right? The current high is not much higher than the previous high. So if you look into this and think about it, potentially, I will be thinking that um, to look into the week chart that is here, right? To see what is the trend that we are playing on. An interesting trend that you can say is probably is in within a range, right? So in this range, across here, it was down for a while, and then across up was up for a while. Then trending, cross now, down for a while, cross now, cross now, up, up, and now you have another cross. Okay. So having this cross in the day and in the week itself, that is uh, signaling a bit of the top finish. Then of course, uh, for SDI, the summary we'll be talking about is Perhaps, perhaps it's better to be neutral, right? Let's look into the two components, the bank stock, Pindominal, the DBS, and the OCBC. And this is in the day trend. So this is not in the week, but it's in the day trend. By looking at the day trend itself, you see that there is one clause here, and it went down trend, it tried to break above, some movement doesn't break above this trend, right? 
like what it does previously over here and then it's come down and now it's hitting a resistance here looking at OCBC I think OCBC look more stronger it was out and then it come down and up again second top lower than the first top but it's above the trend line of the yellow color right over here so it shows a stronger trend line than dbs maybe perhaps uh, due to the so-called dividend you know payout over here right so overall trending wise um short term neutral staying very neutral on uh, sdi and Knowing SDI, I think it's also important to look into the next charge that is on the Han Seng. So looking at Han Seng, Han Seng have a very interesting run. Um, perhaps it will be good to look at the Monday chart. There's the Monday chart, followed by the on the left hand side the weekly chart and then the day chart. On the right hand side, similarly, we'll look into the major component. There's Alibaba and this AIA. So if you look into Han Seng on a long-term trend in the money chart, okay, you could draw two lines, again two lines, potentially a range trading. You draw a center line, it's actually below you know, the central portion. Han Seng on long-term ones, it look much more uh, interesting than uh, the SDI. Do note any small run in Han Seng, it means quite a big run in the uh, individual stock, especially the small cap, the potential small cap. Let's look into the weekly chart. The weekly chart itself, the drops come in to line. The biggest drop was in October, where I think there's quite a lot of uh, major US banks talk about uninvestable in the uh, China market. Unfortunately, this form, you know, the bottoms. A bottom that was formed that you can see by indices in 2009. Sometimes if you think about the news, it's quite interesting. You know, the big bank where they have so much uh, analysts. And they call it uh, uninvestable at a 10 years trend of bottoming. I wonder is it a time for them to collect, you know, uh, collect uh, some of the better stock? Anyway, this is personal opinion. So the run of the Han Seng stop in somewhere here. Probably near to the Chinese New Year period, CNY. Right? And then it go downturn and now it's trending over here. For the money chart, there's a plus point. From the weekly chart, right? It's a neutral point. From the day chart, day chart where it covers is a, a one year period. Last year, May until April, it's also a plus point. No, it's a neutral point, right? It cut, it went down, it go up, and now trending. One down, one up, one down, trending. So very importantly, I think we have to see whether there's a good breakup, you know, into a center portion of the long-term range, right? And if that is going to happen, of course, it's going to make a lot of differences to, to the individual stock. So having thought about Han Seng, I probably will look at Han Seng at a more interesting point, right? And Han Seng, when I talk about Han Seng, it's also talking about A50, the China indices as well. A, a much more interesting point than the STI for short term, short term trade. 
Now looking into uh, Alibaba, I think it's probably about near to 10% of the Hansen indices. Footage, downtrend, uptrend, downtrend, uptrend, breakdown, breakdown yellow line, breakdown blue line, breakdown blue line, yellow line, continue downtrend, breakdown, and the yellow, the long term is getting more weaker than the short term. Right. Now short term moving out. Important to see I will think of this link. Can it hold? I think if it is going to hold probably Alibaba um, may have a, a more stronger upside. Right to this area until it retests the hundred dollars. So that is for Alibaba. Personally, I think range bound. AIA uptrend down, not much affected than tech stock where Alibaba is the tech stock move out as support. Moving as support, right? So let's see, let's see. I think let's uh, look into continue to monitor this two stock, right? This two stock and see how come how will it hold where it's forming a certain crossover at this point. Overall, looking at Hansing and SDI, I still I would personally prefer. You know, doing short term trade in uh, some of this Hansing. And if I'm holding some of the stock there, potentially I think mm, if I'm making a certain profit of uh, 5 to 10 percent, I will reduce some of them and wait for another good uh, entry point. This is for Hansing. And let's look into the US market. US market, what I have done is uh, looking at the Nasdaq stock. On the left hand side, you can see this Nasdaq is on the day, day trend, and Nasdaq on the weekly trend. Nasdaq have a wonderful pull out. Right? Since April 2020, the trend stabilized and cut in July time frame. So I do remember in that period of time I also cut down quite a fair bit of holding. Right? And then it was down until this period. November time frame. Where if I didn't remember wrongly Quite a lot of uh, shock was talked about of uh, Nasdaq going to fail miserably, but it does not. So it went out. So therefore, a lot of shock was uh, being, being so called affected. So looking at the trend, the Nasdaq is uh, high out, moving out. I think probably you have to make some uh, trending before it can actually form the next. Uh, next uh, Needs a major trend, whether is it going to be an uptrend or is it going to be a downtrend or whether it's going to be a ranging trend. Let's look into a day trend which gives you more indicators of the short term. It was down, there's a big one here, there is an up, then a down, further down, lower bottom, zigzag, did not the bottom. Somewhere around here, put indication, don't short. It went out, come down, come out again. So if you look at this area, it has been trending for around the same time. I think probably in a very short while, in a month periods, 
uh, in May, potentially now to May, it will give you quite a fair bit of indication of whether the market is going to be more bullish or more uh, bearish. A good point to look at is uh, we hold first level, second level. If a break, decisive break on the first level, I think it's wise that you cut a lot of the, it's wise that I do cut down the amount of tech stock. In fact, I think I will do a little bit of short, you know, in order to see whether the second level will hold. Okay, so in, in NASDAQ itself, um, I won't be doing a short term trade that is uh, buying up predominantly of the US tech uh, because I have not seen a very decisive uh, uh, breakthrough at this point. And if you look into the major uh, component in NASDAQ, quite a fair bit of them are struggling on the point that is here. And you always can observe a certain point here, the market come down. But do remember, this current area is lower than the previous one. So it doesn't mean that it will come down straight away. All right. And if you look at Microsoft, the other indices, one, crossover, two, Cross over, three, cross over, four, cross over. Comparing these two, probably Microsoft is going to be a more uh, weaker one. So definitely this is not the time that I will be considering think, thinking about taking any Microsoft, right? So with that, I think uh, SDI, not going to be long. I will, if I put into three indices, I think I will look into Hang Seng to see whether there's opportunity for short-term trade. And then with uh, SDI, followed by Nasdaq. Nasdaq, uh, intention is more looking on the uh, short side, right? Okay, in summary, uh, Nasdaq is uh, looking at short neutral and let's look into the other component of uh, US uh, stock. First one is uh, S&P. The chart looked quite okay. It was on the previous top here, right? And if you let it down, similarly it's on the previous, near to the previous top there. So basically, I think we have to look in both S&P and Dow Zone, right? to see whether, how good can they hold at this region, right? Not forgetting the, the holding period when they are in this region is probably much more longer, right? So I don't think at this moment of time, the next uh, uh, short term to four or five weeks time, um, probably it will be some neutral effect. So the main areas, I think, Nasdaq, pretty weak. Neutral, S&P, let's see. Because if you're looking at a, a bigger, bigger correction, you are saying that Nasdaq, S&P and Dow will fall at the same time. But if Nasdaq fall, but S&P maintain, Dow Jones maintain, I don't think we are going to see a big correction now that's going to hit the lowest, right? Interestingly, if you look into the UK, the UK economy, they're talking about 0%. And if I'm not wrong, the UK indices and the Europe indices, many of the country are at their, near to their all-time peak. So basically, the conclusion that is drawn is this is uh, more of a speculative uh, wave. And potentially, this wave Let's look into the previous one on the last stack. This is an up wave, so down, down one, two, three, four, five. Changing one, two, 
one, two, three, four. If there's a wave five, probably I think that is an area that we will retest to see whether a short position can be taken on it. Okay, so in short, shorting the market is uh, much more complicated and uh, challenging and complex than uh, long. So uh, if you are you have not shot before, personal opinion is uh, don't don't go into that. And potentially, let's look into like me. Are we looking at Hansing and SDI to see whether there's any opportunity for a short term long play to get some profit? Okay, with that, uh, that is a good sharing for for this week coming this week. And uh, let's talk about probably mid of this week uh, on certain individual stock that I'm looking at. All right, if you're interested, uh, stay tuned until then. Bye-bye.